Greetings, this is Commander Gangrene TVP, and welcome back to the SciTech X52 Pro Elite Setup video series. I've learned some new information after recording that second video, so I'm going to call this video 2B. It's just a little bit of a follow up to the last video. I will also be putting out uh, video 3 along with this, but I wanted to pass this information on to you. On uh, Reddit, Orange Traz gave me the information that you can actually share. Elite Dangerous Keybinds with other players. So what I've done is I've taken my keybind setup and I've uploaded the file dropper on this custom 18 link there. I will provide it in the description of the video like I did for the other one in the last video for the uh, program. Um, what do I do with that file once I have it? You simply go to C, Users, Username for whatever you're logged into Windows, go to App Data, Local, Frontier Development, Elite Dangerous, Options, Binding, and you're going to take that file that I gave you and you're going to drop it into that Bindings folder. Now what I would recommend doing is when you come into your Bindings folder, also App Data may be a hidden file on your computer, so make sure you show those hidden files so you can get to this full directory path. But then I would take whatever file you have for your binds file in there, and you might want to copy that and move that to some other folder on your computer or keep that somewhere. Then you can drop in my custom.1.8.binds in there and launch it up and let me know if you have any problems or issues with that. Feel free to leave a comment. But that might save you some time in terms of going in there and set up all those key binds. But you can still go in there and manually adjust things or set it up the old-fashioned manually if you um, want to do that. But uh, hopefully that will help you out, um, save you some time. Uh, there was a, another question that came up in the uh, Reddit post about this video series, and players were saying they were having problems um, getting the program to show up correctly. So I'm just going to go ahead and show a couple things. Um, when I did download, I went through the whole process again, I downloaded um, from the website when I unzipped it you should see the file in there of course I renamed this from the previous video but um, I did go through this whole process again it shouldn't have to really rename it you should just take the elite pro v1 and copy and paste it over when you unzip it it should be 64 kilobytes and for 64 kilobytes it should have all the key binds in there so I just want to show you a couple other things um, when you go to the profile editor, <clears throat> what some players or what some people were saying was when they came to this programming screen, it was blank, kind of like when you have a new profile like that. If I hit a blank one right there, a new one, it, this is what they're seeing. They're not seeing any key binds in there. There should definitely be key binds in there. So if you, let's go ahead and close. Oh, there's a couple things you can do. What I would probably do from the screen is hit the open button and open that Pro V1 press open there and you should see all the key binds you press the blue profile button that's going to lock that into your joystick you should on your screen on the throttle see it saying elite pro v1 right on the screen down there as soon as you hit that profile button now if you want to check to make sure that that is in fact locked in and working correctly you press this little gear if you press b on there you're going to see control t come up control t if you press A, you should see Q and Q. That's going to let you know that you are seeing the proper buttons being selected. Once again, if you press that blue crosshair button, that's what locks that in on your joystick. So you should have that locked in. Another way you can get that, if I just go ahead and close that, you should be able to right click down here, select the Elite Pro V1, edit the profile editor, and that should directly bring it up with the buttons in there but I would probably use the folder method to bring it in just to make sure because that will allow you to select the proper one and load it but once again you should see these buttons in here if, you, if you're not seeing that Elite Pro V1 on your control on your throttle make sure you press that button that's going to lock it in down there you can like I said in the previous video go to your Elite Pro V1 or whatever one right click on it and set it up as a startup profile my V1 is already the default profile, so it doesn't give me that option. But that's what you want it to be. Now, if you have any more questions or concerns, um, if it's still not working for you, um, I can possibly remote on your computer, check it out, see if we can figure out what's going on in those situations. But um, 
Once again, if you found this information useful, go ahead and like the video. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. That'd be fantastic. And um, I appreciate you sticking around. Apparently, if I stop fraps, um, it seems to cut off the sound from the last, I don't know, five or ten seconds from the video I record. So I lost the end of the audio on the last one. I was just saying that I appreciate you guys sticking around. I um, hope you guys also stick around to watch the video three, which will be coming out with this one. And um, I appreciate you guys taking the time to do that. Um, bye.